I've had this in my handbag for the last few days. There's no bells and whistles. I have no balloons here, no colored cakes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, I can't even look at you guys. <laughs> hey, I've got a hospital appointment now. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't want to get on here and talk about how tired I am because that's a real drainer. I know it's just annoying, like how boring. Yeah, it's just exhaustion and not really doing much, like haven't been exercising. I hope I don't have gestational diabetes because I am huge. People are probably thinking, gosh, she's put on some weight. <laughs> but of course no one's going to say anything. But I've just been wearing massive clothes so no one can see. I just wear men's clothing, like extra large. I guess it's a good sign that the baby is growing, but I'll see at my checkup. I'll see what happens today. Um, last time I was at the hospital here, uh, it was hectic <laughs> because I got here and I had my baby with me and I had the longest scan and it was just really hard because I don't have anyone to look after her. Oh, I just dropped the biscuits. I'll fix them. <laughs> Yay, Goldie, we did it. Well done. Oh. <laughs> so she comes along with me to my appointments. I don't have her now, so this is a little bit handy. Yeah. And then the time before that, the obstetrician accidentally told me the gender. <laughs> Let's see how today goes, but I think today is a check-in. Hopefully they say that I can stop my injections because I've got huge bruises on my stomach at the moment from injections. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of movement, like a lot of kicks, which is really, really good. But yeah, pregnancy this time is so different just because I feel guilty in saying this, but there's so many moments now because I've, I've got like a one and a half year old, like it's so consuming. Sometimes days will be so busy and then I think, oh gosh, whoops, I'll feel a kick and then I'll remember that I'm pregnant, which I am really, really grateful and I'm lucky that I'm not super sick or vomiting. I just have constant food problems, um, like food aversions, but I always manage to find something to eat, which probably isn't that great for me, but I think part of feeling so exhausted is because I am so unfit. Like I never got my strength back and before getting pregnant after my last pregnancy because I know people that don't have children won't understand, but where do you find the time to exercise? Like I can't even really do walks now because my baby, like our ex, our main form of exercise was walking in the pram, but Goldie doesn't want to sit in the pram the whole time now. Yeah, so that's tough as well. Yeah, I've got to go because I don't want to be late to this appointment and it's still taking ages to check in and line up because of all the protocols and all that stuff. Yeah, all right, I'll perhaps check in after and we'll see how we go, bye. Hey, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I shouldn't have gotten it into my head that I was gonna finish injections. How stupid of me. Still on the injections. It's all right, I can do this. It's all right. Oh, okay. Also, having cravings is really bad because when you've got a craving, like you have to have that thing. And I've got to go pick up Goldie, but I've also, I have to have the thing that I want. So I've got to go to a certain shop and get there, get the other food that I'll eat because I won't eat other things, even though I've got dinner at home. I've been doing that much cooking, but then I make things and then I can't eat it. So I've got to go and get exactly what I'm craving. Yeah just a bit annoyed that I'm still on injections, but it's all right. Okay, bye. I'm back. I had what I was craving. I am so full now. I feel like I'm going to explode. I didn't even eat that much. And I didn't say what I was craving before because the minute you say sushi, everyone goes, oh, pregnant women aren't meant to have raw fish. I didn't have the raw fish one, but all I want is raw salmon. I want raw salmon so bad. Uh, so went to work picked up the sewing machine. I'll pick up Goldie and then going to go home and sew the curtains because I'm taking up all the curtains, doing it all on a budget. 
I've done the window furnishings all on a budget. Hey, I actually can't believe I'm doing this. This is gonna be a really, really short video and it doesn't feel real. And because in my situation, I've explained this before, but because of my long fertility journey and IVF, um, I'm still doing injections at the moment. You just, you go from milestone to milestone. So once you make it to a certain amount of weeks, you're like, all right, now I've got to get to this scan. I've got to make it to this amount of weeks. And uh, I'd love to do it the old fashioned way and not find out the gender, but yeah, I just, this time, well, it doesn't feel real because I didn't know my body. Well, I'm still nervous to talk like this because I haven't had the baby yet, but I didn't know if my body would give me a second baby. That's why I was so, so, so emotional with conceiving my first baby because I didn't know when it would happen or if it would happen. And my first gender reveal was so emotional because that, to me, realistically, could have been the only child that I had have going to have and I would have been I'm so grateful like she's everything and more and so this whatever the gender although I already know what it is when I say I already know I'm like 98% sure so this is just to confirm things I guess I guess I'm finding out for a couple of reasons kind of want to be a little bit organized because if it's a girl, I've got everything. I don't need to get anything. If it's a boy, which I'm pretty 98% sure, there's a few reasons why, which I will tell you after. I've got a rush though. This won't be long, what's the time? The thing is, it's Christmas day and I dropped Goldie off. I don't have her for Christmas day. And I just, I knew that this day was coming and I thought, like I will see her later tonight. I thought I might get a little bit sad I might get a little bit emotional. So I kind of wanted something to look forward to. Wasn't sure if I was gonna do it today, but I think I'm I think I'm definitely ready. So during the week I went to the clinic where I had my NIPT test done and I picked up the piece of paper. So I've had this in my handbag for the last few days. <laughs> I can't believe this, even though I know, I know what the, I'm gonna to start to slowly open this, I'm gonna get this show on the road because it is Christmas day and I've gotta to go to my best friend's house and see their family and and yeah, it's Christmas day. Um, I already know because I've, I've uh, the hospital where I'm going on two separate occasions, they've actually slipped up and said things. I'm just gonna do this. I'm so scared to look at this, I can't believe. This will be it, there'll be no more guessing. It's just gonna complete our family. And when I see Goldie, look, she's not gonna understand. She's only one and a half years old. But you know, she's either gonna be a big sister to a little brother or a little sister. I'm not ready for this. Like I'm actually not ready. I feel like there should be more of a build up to this, but. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm like ruffling around. I'm so scared to look at this. I don't know why I'm so scared. Okay, this is such a huge moment with no build up for you guys, but ah, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> put makeup on <laughs> sorry <laughs> having a little boy I knew it <laughs> like oh, there's such a different pregnancy as well um, 
although he's giving me lots of headaches every day. <laughs> had a scan at the hospital and I told the obstetrician I didn't want to know but she did the scan thing and then I swear and I knew she did she goes like she couldn't find his heart rate I knew that he was alive because I could hear I could hear I could I could feel him moving I haven't even done my clothes up probably um and at the end of the scan she goes oh his head's down there and I said did you just say his and she goes oh I said it's I was like liar and then the other day when I had another checkup at the end of it I said I asked the sonographer I said can I just take a picture of the screen and he also knew that I didn't want to um I'm getting so emotional <laughs> because uh, I think it'll be so nice for Goldie and it'll be so nice for me to have a little boy um it's just gonna be such a nice dynamic yeah I I <laughs> <laughs> I said, going to take a picture of the screen. He was like, yeah, I took a picture of the screen and, and took a picture of the screen where the screen that he looks at. And the other night, Goldie was breastfeeding. She's always breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is absolutely killing me at the moment. My, my nipples are hurting so much and I can't get her to stop breastfeeding. She just wants the boob all the time still. Anyway, and I couldn't sleep. We're up doing a, a feed in the middle of the night and... I looked at my phone and I re-looked at the photos from that, oh, I still can't believe it, I still can't believe it, from that scan and I'm sorry but I can read scans and I'm not obviously not in the medical profession, like we all know, we all know my background, anyway I'm a dancer. So. I saw and I zoomed in, there were all these shots on there and I zoomed in and I saw this shot and I was like, I swear that's a legs and a penis. I swear that's a penis. Although I showed my girlfriend and we were like, mm, that would be a pretty big penis. <laughs> I'm not saying my baby's going to have a big penis, but I don't know, like in the scale, but then we were like, no, it could be the cord. Anyway, it just it just had to be that shot and then obviously I got on Google and they call it the potty shot where it's from underneath but anyway I just I can't believe it. Well looks like I'll have to get a few things. I know how to not the fertility side of things but I know how to have a baby on the do it on the thrifty side so we'll just get some bits and pieces. Oh I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. My pregnancy has been so different. Like it's been so different even but he's very very active like I'm still early days but I feel like a lot of movement which is really good and really reassuring of course the one time that I wear makeup I like lose my absolute shit I'm gonna have to go I'm just like I just I just knew it was a boy like I just knew oh, I'm getting emotional <laughs> sorry <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully this was a nice short video for you. And this is my minimalistic gender reveal. I gotta go because it's Christmas day and I've gotta go see my family. Like I'm getting so fat, like I'm putting on so much weight. It's out of control, but I'm so grateful that my body is doing this for me. Although I've tried really hard. There's a lot of things that I've done and I will share that in another video because it hasn't been easy for me. But all right, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.